This video is sponsored by my favorite website creator Squarespace, the best place to go when you want to get a domain or create a gorgeous website or an online store. So yes, here we are. It's another season. So let's do another anti-haul. I don't even have a proper wardrobe yet and I don't until we're done renovating. So it's definitely not the time for me to go shopping. What about you? Are you also feeling like you should skip shopping this season or are you in the mood for something new? Either way, these are six things I won't be buying this winter because they're either short-lived trends, they're wrong for me personally, or because I already got a good option at home. Let's see what you guys think. Okay, should we start by talking about colors? Because I feel like on the side of the very strong 90s minimalism trend, this season there's a tailoring gone mad trend with three piece suits in like hot pink or shiny silver metallics. Basically like very simple suits, but in textures and colors completely like rogue. And for me, there's nothing hotter and more or less timeless than the 90s minimalism. I'm crazy for the Dana Scully look and all those muted colors. Plus, you know, muted never really goes out of style. Hot pink metallic waistcoats though, I'm feeling like we definitely will grow tired of it fairly quickly. What are your thoughts? Do you like this or do you hate it? When it comes to leopard and tiger prints, I'm feeling like this look goes through such extreme cycles. One season we'll love it completely and the next month we're so over it that we start to absolutely hate it. It's volatile that way with cat prints and when they are on trend, they're almost worn ironically. Do you feel that way too? Personally, I'm not going to invest in something expensive that has such up and down cycles. Okay, if you get like a skull for a pair of tights, but when I'm spending good money, I want to get wear out of it, no matter what the current runway reports say, you know what I mean? One thing that's almost guaranteed every winter is that like we eat a lot, am I right? So I'm not going to have a flat stomach or want to dress in anything tight that I have to like hold my breath in. That's for sure why we love baby doll dresses during the holidays, right? Anyway, we have Gen C's love of anything ultra femme to thank for the corset and bustier trend this winter. It's almost cruel to tell us to create tiny waist by forcing ourselves into super stiff fabric, if you ask me. This is definitely not a trend I'm going for. You know, the older I get, the more I feel like feeling comfortable is like such a valuable feeling. My poor body, it should be able to move around all day without pinching or achy feet or whatever. And corsets over Christmas feels like the opposite of comfortable to me. Like I want to eat all the Swedish smorgasbord board stuff and still have space left for saffron buns for dessert. I feel like this year we've been like loving the skirt so much, right? And it's both like the micro mini skirt, like preppy schoolgirl look, and the pleated midi, like 70s Diane Keaton type of style, but also like the super maxi floor length dresses. So I love a good mini. There's something about showing off my legs that just makes me happy. So skirts, I'm definitely feeling them, but leather skirts and leather dresses, no man, it's definitely not for me. I know I say this a lot, but leather is not okay in any way. We need to stop it already. There's so much stuff we can wear that isn't based on like abusing or, you know, killing someone else, especially now that the sustainable plant leathers are everywhere. If you want vegan leather, you don't have to go with plastics anymore. Like plant leathers are seriously so good. I have a bunch of products made out of apple peels and pineapple and lemon or mushrooms. And seriously, the quality is like delicious. So soft and also durable. Another big win for technology, right? Every year we go through this again with this season specific urge to dress up like what are they called the the new year sparkles. I'm mostly talking about sequins of course but also like shiny metallics and silver chain details. So this is not a short-lived trend per se since it does come back every single year over the holidays. I mean if you invest in one good sequin dress you will have occasion to wear it to like holiday parties. And this season, the style on the runway is less like 90s sleek and more Y2K crazy. Cutouts and exposed midriffs and mismatched colors. It's not a super easy look to wear. I'm not a big fan of sequins personally, so it's easy for me to say no to this look anyway. What about you? Do you own any sequin pieces that you can wear year after year? Or is this one of those type of items that you grow tired of quickly? I don't know. I don't even own a single sequin item, I don't think. So I'm not sure if you can get any longevity out of a piece like that. Do tell me if you have one. Oh, this next one is one of my favorites. It's the mad mismatched maximalism trend. Think like quirky Carrie Bradshaw, but a new Gen C version with a lot less polish. 
grandma style meets super feminine meets super androgynous and just like no respect for style or color clashing. It's so fun and so cocky. I just love it. It's like the one maximalist style that I really enjoy myself. And often I do like a toned down version of this when David and I have a date day walking around Central. The thing is, like, the beauty of this trend is that you don't really need to invest. It's just about pulling on whatever you have at home. Layers and layers. And it's, like, supposed to look awkward and unpolished. So it's just about having fun with it. Steal from your dad or your grandma, that kind of thing. Okay, what are your thoughts? Are you feeling these trends or are you also kind of happy to stay away? Let's chat in the comments. And also, if you have any wardrobes investments that you want to make this winter, tell me. What I've been investing in this season, which I feel is the opposite of short-lived trends, is a trench coat and maybe my favorite pair of jeans ever. Like, truly timeless stuff. Oh yes, I made a video about my recent repeat wear outfits that went up, I think, a couple of weeks ago. So if you want some layering ideas, maybe check that out. And also give me a thumb if you like these anti-haul videos and want me to continue making them. Feel free to subscribe to not miss my next video if you haven't already. Do you want to create a beautiful site, maybe start your own sustainable fashion blog? If so, you should definitely do it with Squarespace. They have great blogging tools to share your stories, photos and videos to make it easy to reach your audience. You can also auto post your content to Twitter, Facebook or Tumblr and simply schedule your posts for them to be properly tagged and the descriptions and titles will show up correctly. You can of course add your social media accounts to your site so it's easy for your readers to find you everywhere. Squarespace also have great traffic analytics so that you can see how many people are visiting your site, how long they're staying for, where they're coming from and what they're interested in like fashion or style tips or interior design or whatever. So what are you waiting for? Go get your free trial today at squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash jennymustard to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's it for today. Thanks for hanging out guys. See you soon. Peace peace.